Sir William, the knight commander of the king's army, rode his horse towards the castle gates. The sun was setting behind him, casting long shadows across the fields. Open the gates. It's I, Sir William, knight commander of the king's army. The guards at the gate recognized Sir William and quickly opened the gates. Sir William rode his horse through the gates and made his way to the castle court. Where is the king? I must speak with him at once. One of the servants stepped forward. The king is in his chambers, Sir William. I'll show you the way. Sir William dismounted from his horse and followed the servant through the castle. As they walked, Sir William could hear the sounds of battle coming from outside the castle wall. What is that noise? Are we under attack? Yes, Sir William. The enemy has launched an attack on the castle. What? How did they get past our defenses? I don't know, Sir William. The enemy appeared suddenly and caught us off guard. As they reached the king's chambers, Sir William burst through the door. Your Majesty, we're under attack. We must prepare for battle. The king was seated at his desk, looking grim. I know, Sir William. I've already ordered our troops to prepare for battle. What can I do to help? Your Majesty, I need you to lead a team of soldiers and defend the castle walls. The enemy will be here soon. At once, your majesty. Sir William left the king's chambers and ran to the courtyard. He quickly assembled a team of soldiers and led them to the castle walls. All right, men, we must defend this castle at all costs. Remember your training and stay together. We can do this. As they waited for the enemy to attack, Sir William could feel his heart pounding in his chest. He knew that the fate of the kingdom rested on his shoulders, and he was determined to defend it at all. The sound of horns and drums filled the air as the enemy army marched towards the castle walls. Sir William and his team stood ready, their weapons at the ready. Steady, men, wait for my signal. The enemy army approached the walls, and Sir William gave a signal to open fire. The sound of arrows and rocks filled the air as the defenders rained down their weapons on the enemy. Keep firing. Don't let them get any closer. The enemy army responded with a barrage of their own, but the defenders held strong. The battle raged on for hours, neither side gaining the up. As the sun began to set, Sir William and his team were beginning to tire. The enemy had not let up, and the defenders were running low on ammunition. We can't hold them off much longer. We need reinforcements. Just then, a group of knights on horseback arrived at the castle gates. Sir William recognized them as reinforcements from a nearby kingdom. Reinforcements. To the gates, men, we must let them in. Sir William and his team fought their way to the castle gates, battling enemy soldiers every step of the way. Finally, they reached the gates and opened them, allowing the reinforcements to enter. Thank the gods you've arrived, we need all the help we can get. Reinforcement leader. We're here to help, Sir William. Where do you need us? We need to reinforce the eastern wall. It's the weakest point in our defenses. The two teams of soldiers rushed to the eastern wall, where the enemy was beginning to break through. Together, they fought back the enemy, pushing them back from- As the sun rose over the battlefield, the enemy finally retreated, defeated. Sir William and his team stood victorious, but they knew that the wall was far from- The morning after the battle, Sir William met with the king in his chambers to discuss their next steps. Your Majesty, we were able to fend off the enemy's attack, but we can't let our guard down. They'll be back, and they'll be stronger. I know, Sir William. We must prepare ourselves for the worst. We'll need to gather our allies and prepare for a full-scale war. Agreed, Your Majesty. I'll send word to our allies at once. As Sir William left the King's chambers, he could feel the weight of the responsibility on his shoulders. He knew that the fate of the kingdom rested on his ability to gather allies and prepare for war. Sir William spent the next few days sending out messengers to their allies and making preparations for the war to come. He knew that time was of the essence and that they needed to act quickly. As the days turned into weeks, the kingdom's allies began to arrive, each bringing their own armies and resources to aid in the war effort. Sir William and the king met with the leaders of each army, strategizing and planning for the ba- Finally, the day of the first battle arrived. Sir William and his team rode out to the front lines, ready to face the enemy once again. Men, this is it. The fate of our kingdom rests on our shoulders, but we have allies with us, and together, we can defeat the enemy. The sound of horns and drums filled the air as the two armies clashed. Sir William and his team fought with all their might, their weapons flashing in the sunlight. The battle raged on for hours, each side gaining and losing ground. Sir William and his team fought bravely, holding back the enemy's advances and pushing them back when they could. Finally, as the sun began to set, the enemy army began to retreat. Sir William and his team stood victorious once again, but they knew that there were many battles to come. Well done, man, we've won the battle, but the war is far from over. We must continue to fight to defend our kingdom and our people. And our the team cheered, raising their weapons in triumph. 
Sir William knew that they had a long and difficult journey ahead of them, but he was determined to see it through to the end. Sir William and his team continued to fight in battles, each one more difficult than the last. But with the help of their allies, they were able to push back the enemy and defend their kingdom. Months passed, and the war began to take a toll on Sir William and his team. They were exhausted, injured, and emotionally drained. But they knew that they couldn't give up, not when the fate of their kingdom was at stake. One day, Sir William received word that the enemy's leader had been captured. He wrote to the king's chambers to deliver the news. Your Majesty, I have news. The enemy's leader has been captured. We've won the war. The king looked relieved and grateful. Thank the gods. Sir William, you and your team have saved our kingdom. You have my eternal gratitude. It was an honor to serve your majesty. As the war came to an end, Sir William and his team were celebrated as heroes. They were honored at a grand feast, and the king bestowed upon them the highest honors and titles. But for Sir William, the greatest reward was knowing that he had protected his kingdom and his people. He knew that the battles they had fought had been difficult, but he also knew that they had been necessary. As he looked out at the cheering crowd, Sir William knew that he had done his duty. And that was all that mattered.